On a nice hot day, there's nothing better than cooling off by the water. Today it might be a bit windy, but people are hanging out by the pier. It's just a beautiful place to sit and enjoy the day. Most are doing something I've never done before. Mainly because I like my food to be dead before I see it. But these people are braver than me. They're catching their own dinner. Grab salad, you know, make it with some pasta. It's great. We're going to have it with steak, yeah. Nice. Steak and crab. So we need to at least get one more crab. Yeah. Good one. Yep, they're crabbing. I know nothing, nothing about crabbing. Now, there are some things I need to know before I can even think about doing this. Number one, you need a license. Number two, they have to be a certain size. Bring out the crab measure. You're only allowed to catch a certain size with a, a proper measuring device for Dungeness or a Red Rock? No, that one's way too small too. It's too small too? Oh yeah, the A's got to be six and a half inches and that one's four at the be best. Number three, it's got to be male. And number four, you need bait to attract these clawy creatures. Everybody uses different stuff in there, in there to, to attract them. We use chicken, drumsticks. Uh, some, yeah, some people use cat food or salmon, trout heads. There we go. But be careful which bait you use. Apparently, some cute creatures might want a piece of it. Make sure you use chicken, not fish. No? No, the seals steal the fish and they wreck your traps. Yep. Lucy, the resident seal, will hang around keeping you company and keeping an eye on the traps for any lunch she can grab. She is cute, though. Okay, so you have a crab and it isn't big enough. Ah! Now you have to chuck it back into the water. Now keep in mind, I've never touched a crab and I never wanted to, but I'm caving to peer pressure. I did it! Just chuck it? Yeah. Yes! <laughs> and what happens if you catch one that's a good size? You just rub them right here underneath here. And they'll get calm and they'll put their their pincers away. And then you get the knife and you cut them in half. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're planning on crabbing, settle in for a few hours. When you come down to the pier here and you see all the people crabbing, you talk to them, you actually learn a lot about it. And guess what? I even picked one up. I'm gonna cross that one off my list. But instead of actually crabbing, I'm just gonna go to the market and just buy my crab. I just find it's easier. In Nanaimo, I'm Shida Singh for The Daily.